Yo, what's up, Freeze Army, and welcome to the Art of Revenge Challenge Pack. I'm going to do all five challenges in one. My name is Mr. Freeze2244, and for the first challenge, you've got to assassinate a target with a lethal thrown kitchen knife while disguised as a motorcyclist. And once you've equipped the motorcyclist disguise, you can't change your disguise. The second one is you've got to assassinate him with a lethal poison while disguised as a motorcyclist. You got the next one, you have to drown him while disguised as a motorcyclist. Again, the same rules apply. And uh, the fourth one is obviously complete all the challenges to unlock the Masamune's sword. The final one is assassinate a target with a katana while disguised as a motorcyclist. So we're going to do all four of them, uh, all, fi all five of those challenges in one go. So this is the contract that I created. It's currently only available on PS4, so if you're on Xbox or PC, feel free to uh, copy this contract and let me know the code in the uh, comments, and I'll pin it to the, uh, the comments section and in the description. But for those of you who are on PS4, the contract ID is there at the bottom of the screen. But for this one, we're going to start infiltrating along the mountain path, it's disguised as a ninja. Uh, we're going to bring along the lethal syringe, the coins, the pistol, and a modern emetic syringe stored in the smuggled item in the mountain path as well. So we're starting this location so we can have the katana straight away. So obviously we need this for one of the targets. We're going to grab the emetic syringe and we're going to head our way down the mountain path. So first of all, we're going to go and get, grab the kitchen knife. There's two kitchen knives in Hokkaido, one of them is in the kitchen and the other one is in the sushi bar area. And we're going to go for the one in the sushi bar because it's just closest and it's the easiest one to retrieve. So once we've head down here, all the way down these stairs here, we should have no problems up to this point. We're just going to crouch along this wall here at the end because we don't want to get spotted by the security guard. We're actually going to subdue him. So as soon as he turns around, we're going to circle around him and subdue him. And once we've subdued him, we're just going to drag him inside and dump his body in the closet. We're actually going to take his disguise because it makes it easiest to get into the, the sushi bar uh, without any risks or anything like that, or trespassing. And we can grab the knife, no problem. So now we've got this, we can head upstairs and go grab it. So the kitchen knife is just going to be hanging on the wall once you enter this area. So once you grab that, you'll have everything set up. So all you got to do now is go and retrieve the motorcyclist disguise. So we're just going to head straight to the basement now. You just need to watch out for the two morgue doctors that are down here. We're just going to wait for them to turn around. So he's going to come around and join his partner. He's going to turn around. And that's when we're going to sneak past him. So once that's done, we're going to sneak past right now. There we go. Nice and easy. So the next section, what you got to do now is put on the motorcyclist disguise that's laying on the gurney. Pull out your coin and throw it in the direction I'm about to show you. For some reason, it distracts the guard, uh, the guy on the left. So what we're actually going to have to do is pull out the katana, take out the guy on the right with the, with the katana, and then quickly pull out your knife and throw it at the other guy's head. So that will take care of the both targets there. We're just going to drag his body as well away from the door because we don't want to get his body spotted by the morgue doctors in the other room. And we're also going to take out the evidence just to be sure. You don't need to do a silent assassin for this contract, but you know, I like to be perfect. I like to be <laughs> I like to make sure we get the silent assassin rating regardless. So once you've taken care of two of them now, we've got two left now. That's the hardest part of the way. Sneak through the room just like we did before. Just watch out for the two more doctors in there. You don't have to rush just like I did there. You can take your time. So next we've got to pull out the emetic syringe. And we're going to take out the third target. He's just going to be in here. So we're going to stab him with the emetic syringe, which is the one that makes him sick. He's going to go to the bathroom and throw up into the, uh, the toilet. And we're going to come back to him in a moment. But for now, we're just going to head up these stairs now. Pull out your pistol and shoot that thing on the wall there. It cut there for some reason, I don't know why, but shoot that thing on the wall, I, I, I just, just highlighted, or just go up to it and turn it off. The chef guy is going to come out, which is the, th the fourth target. As soon as he turns it back on, that's when we're going to stab him with the, with the syringe. So that's uh, the third target taken care of, so that's three targets down, that's, that's the poison kill taken care of. The final target is going to be throwing up in the toilet, just like I said earlier. And we're just going to have to quickly drown him. And once we've done that, we can head straight out of the mission, and that's when all your challenges will pop up on the screen.
Yeah, for some reason that uh, that clip cut, but like I said, uh, you just have to sh shoot that circuit, bo circuit box um, to get the chef to come out, or alternatively, you just go up to it and turn it off, just in case you were wondering there. But it's, it should be, it should be no nice and easy. Just watch out for the guard, now we'll wait for a look at his location on this helipad. And uh, once it's safe to go, go up to this helicopter, exit the mission, and you should get all the challenges popping up for you. So that's Copperhead, Side Winder, California Mountain Snake, Cottonmouth, The Whisperer, and of course you unlock the Masamune Sword. So that's going to do it for this video, so hopefully this helps everybody out. Uh, feel free to drop a like on the video if it did help you out, and subscribe if you are new to the channel. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Cheers.